final heat of the women's 800 meter freestyle. Introducing your swimmers in the third and final heat of the women's 800 meter freestyle. Lane Juan will be heading to UCLA this fall. Tonight, representing Golden West Swim Club. Please welcome Macon Rankin. Lane two is a two time FINA World Cup 10K open water champion from fast swim team Emily Bruneman. In lane three, the 10th place finisher in this event at the 2012 U.S. Olympic Trials for the Mission of Viejo Nadadores, Ashley Twitchell. <laughs> lane four, 2012 Olympic Trial finalist in this event from Swim Florida, Stephanie Peacock. <laughs> lane five, a six-time All-American and five-time Big Ten champion from Minnesota Aquatics, Ashley Steenborden. Lane six was the 1500 meter champion at the 2011 Santa Clara International Invitational from North Baltimore Aquatic Club, Cameron Morris. Lane seven, 2012 Olympic trial finalist in the 200 meter freestyle from Terrapin swim team, Chelsea Chenault. Lane 8, Olympic trial finalist in the 400 individual medley, representing Aggie Swim Club, Sarah Henry. Heat 3, women's 800 meter freestyle. Sixteen lengths of the pool freestyle. That's the women's 800 meter event. And Stephanie Peacock, your early leader in lane four, she was at 29.66. The first 50 meters, Peacock at 830.97. In the Olympic trials this year, that was her best time. The U.S. Open meet record 824.71, posted in 1987 by Janet Evans. Evans, the U.S. Open record holder. Fastest time on American soil done in 1988. That's an 817.12. And the American record recently broken by Katie Ledecky is an 814.63. The world record, 814.10. That belongs to Rebecca Adlington of Great Britain, posted at the Beijing Olympic Games in 2008. Coming up on 200 meters now, Stephanie Peacock in control from lane number four. Behind Peacock, you have Steen Horton in five and Twitchell in three. Peacock, 205.43, 31.9 for that last 50. And she looks comfortable out in front, one quarter of the race complete. In the early heats of the women's 800, the top time belonged to Tristan Baxter of Clovis Swim Club. She was an 839.70. Certainly a strong enough time to compete for a spot on the podium this evening. 
Second best, Kelsey Cummings of Golden West at 844.40. And third fastest was Lindsey Vrooman of Indiana University, 846.14. Those are your top three finishers from the first two heats of the women's 800 meter freestyle. Those were contested this afternoon. Peacock still under 32 seconds on that last 50. She was at 31.8 and at earlier this year at Auburn University Stephanie Peacock was victorious at the NC2A championships in the 1650 yard freestyle she set a new pool record on her way to the title with a 1538.79 and Peacock certainly looking good and in control here halfway through the race she's a 412.77 She's going to have the negative split just slightly in order to challenge the U.S. Open meet record of 824.71. Peacock descending there to a 31-4 on that previous 50. That's her split. 32-2 from Twitchell in three. She's in second place. 32-3 from Steen Borden in five. She's currently in third. Behind Steen Borden, that's Sarah Henry in lane number eight, then Chelsea Chanel in seven, and Cameron Morris in six. 300 meters remaining for Peacock. Still down at 31 mid. With that last 50, she splits at 31.4. Thirty-one two from Peacock on that previous 50. She is picking up speed here in the back half. Exactly what she needs to do to challenge that open meet record that belongs to Janet Evans. 200 meters remaining for Peacock. 31.5 and a 618.50. So Stephanie Peacock will need to be 31-5-0 or faster for the final four splits in order to challenge the meet record of 824-71. And there's a 31.49, just barely under that standard that she needs to maintain. Stephanie Peacock now, 100 meters to go, and she gives a 31.6. She needs to make up that time. 
at 721.66. She needs to bring it home in a 103.1 to challenge that meet record. Second is Ashley Steenborden in five. Third, Ashley Twitchell in three. Fourth, Sarah Henry in eight. And then Cameron Morris is in fifth from lane number six. Again, that top time from earlier today, Tristan Baxter at 839.70. The second to last 50, Peacock again at 31.6. She really needs to accelerate here in the final 50 meters to challenge that meet record. Twenty-five meters to go. Let's bring her home, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. This is a 25-year-old U.S. Open meet record that belongs to the legendary Janet Evans. And will it live for yet another year? 824.36, a new U.S. Open meet record. Finishing in a 31.06. Congratulations to Stephanie Peacock. Second is Ashley Steenborden at 833.41 from lane number five. Third, Ashley Twitchell, 834.56 from lane number three. Fourth is Sarah Henry in lane eight, 838.46. That means that time from Tristan Baxter in 839.7, that'll hold up for a fifth place finish overall. There she is exiting the pool, ladies and gentlemen. Lane four, another round of applause for your new meet record holder, Stephanie Peacock.